iguana at the lake. Iguana! You'll never guess what I saw! What? I saw a farmer digging yams that were almost as big as me! Mosquitoes are so small compared to yams. You are too silly. I would rather be deaf than listen to such nonsense. With this iguana stuck two sticks in his ear so he wouldn't have to hear any more mosquitoes nonsense. There, now I can't hear you. Iguana walked on through the reeds. Iguana was still grumbling to himself when he happened to pass by his friend Python. The big snake raised his head and said, Hi there, Iguana. How are you? Iguana could not hear Python because he had sticks in his ear. So he walked on without answering the snake. Now why won't he speak to me? Iguana must be angry about something. I'm afraid he is plotting some mischief against me. Python looked for a good place to hide. He saw Rabbit's Hole and thought that would be a great place to get away from Iguana. In he went. Seeing Python in his home caught the rabbit by surprise. Oh no, oh no! That snake's trying to eat me! Rabbit was scared. She jumped out of her hole and began to run. A crow saw the rabbit running for her life. It was his job to spread the alarm in case of danger. Oh no, rabbit's running. There must be danger. Ah! He decided he better warn the other animals. Ka, ka, ka! Danger, danger! A monkey heard the crow. He was sure that some dangerous beast was prowling near. He began screeching and leaping through the trees to help warn the other animals. Well, Mother Owl was not at home, for though she usually hunted only in the night, this morning she was still searching for one more tidbit to satisfy her hungry baby. When she returned to the nest, she found the Oh my baby, what happened? The monkey did it, Mama, and the monkey killed the baby owl. All that day and all that night, she was in her tree, so sad. So sad, so sad. Now, it was the mother owl who woke the sun every morning so that the dawn would come. But this time, when she should have hooted for the sun, she did not do it. The night grew longer and longer. The animals in the forest knew it was lasting way too long. They feared the sun would never come back. How could Monkey kill my baby? I'm too sad. I will not be able to wake up the sun. So sad, so sad, so sad. I'm sick of living in darkness. Why does an owl wake the sun? It is her job. I saw Mother Owl this morning in her nest. She looked very, very sad. I know. I saw her too. I've never seen her like that before. Well, we certainly can't have it be nighttime all the time. Two can. Go bring me Miss Owl at once. Owl was brought before King Lion, the leader of all the animals. Owl, I have heard about the death of your little baby owl, and I am very, very sorry. But, Mother Owl, why have you stopped waking the sun? The night has lasted so long, and everyone is worried. I have stopped waking the sun because Monkey killed my baby. Now I am too sad. Monkey is the one? Who killed Baby Owl? Hmm, Giraffe, send me Monkey. At once, Your Highness. Monkey was brought before the King Lion. 
Monkey, why did you kill us, Owl's baby? It was not my fault. Crow was screaming about danger. I started running, and a branch broke and killed Owl's baby. And I was too sad to wake the sun. So it was Crow's fault. Send me the crow. Crow was brought before King Lion. Crow, why did you sound a false alarm? I didn't know it was false. I saw Rabbit running, and I thought there was danger, so I alarmed Monkey. So I killed Owl's baby. And I was too sad to wake the sun. Well, Rabbit must be to blame. Send me Rabbit. Rabbit was brought before King Lion. Rabbit, why did you run and start of the crow? I was scared. Python came to my house and tried to eat me, so I ran and startled the crow. I alarmed Monkey. So I killed Owl's baby. And I was too sad to wake the sun. I see you. Python did it. Send me Python. Python was brought before King Lion. Python, why did you enter Rabbit's house and try to eat her? I didn't try to eat Rabbit. Iguana was mad at me and, and was going to play a trick on me, so I tried to hide in Rabbit's house. I didn't mean to, but I scared Rabbit. I startled Crow. I alarmed Monkey. So I killed Owl's baby. And I was too sad to wake the sun. Seems like Iguana caused this trouble. Send me Iguana. Iguana was brought before King Lion. Iguana, why were you mad at Python? Why did you want to play a trick on him? Huh? Iguana did not answer because he still had sticks in his ears. Hmm, I don't think he can hear me. He has sticks in his ears. I will pull him out. Why were you mad at Python? I was never mad at Python. Mosquitoes were talking about such silly things. So I put sticks in my ears so I wouldn't have to hear her. That is why I frightened snake. So I scared Rabbit. I startled Crow. I alarmed Monkey. So I killed Owl's baby. And I was too sad to wake the sun. So all this was Mosquito's fault. We must do something to punish her. Send me Mosquito. Meanwhile, the mosquito had listened to all this from a nearby bush. She crept under a curly leaf and was never found and brought before the lion. Because of this, the mosquito has a, a guilty conscience. To this day, she goes around whining in people's ears. Are they still mad at me? Are they still mad at me? And she gets her answer. 